If you just read the Quran in chapter 3 verse 164, 164, Allah says that the common platform for Muslims, for Christians, for Jews and every community is that, O people of the book, O the people of knowledge, mm-hmm. all the non Muslim brothers and sisters, try to understand that our creator, cherisher, sustainer is one and only. Mm-hmm. And if you read your scriptures, the Talmud, the Misnad, or the Old Testament, or the New Testament, it's clearly mentioned about the God Almighty, Shama Israelu, Idna Ilahimu, Idna Yahad. Listen to Israel, the Lord of our God is only one God. Mm-hmm. And the same message if you read in the Quran, Allahu la ilaha illahu. Allah, there is no other God but He. So the common platform for everyone, for uniformity, mm-hmm. for wiping out every sort of division, every for sort of disunity, mm-hmm. and coming towards, mashallah, one common goal and target is understanding the concept of God from your scriptures as well as from the Quran. So high people came and said different names, but they mean the same. Uh, and then when he asked, to come, you can toss the fruit with you one. So everyone toss the same fruit. So that means God is one. Uh, the name right. might be different, the practice might be different, there might be debate, there might be discussion, but ultimate God is the one, indivisible, omnipotent, omnipresence, so it is only one. If you read the, all the scriptures, even the Hello Parishad, Hallelujah, Sadokya Parishad, Fratha Parishad, or Udwe, the Jibwe, the Kamali, the of the Hinduism, as I belong to India. And if we read uh, the Buddhist religious scriptures, that is uh, Abhidhamma, Lalita Vistara, in the Pali language, or if you go for the Christian religious scriptures, or the Islamic, or various other Parsis, Zedavista, and others are there, I strongly feel that. The concept, the name, the deity is again one and only and unique without any parents, without any children, without any family members. The unique deity to everyone who bore down to you. Read Jesus I, I, fell on the ground and worship God. Yeah. Jesus cried from the cross, Illay, Illay, Lama Selecti. If you translate that into Arabic, it is Ilahu, Ilahu, Lima Selecti. O oh God, O oh God, why have you forsaken me? Mm-hmm. In English we say it. Yeah. So, God, deity, one, unique, without any partner, without any family, parents and children, and only creator and cherisher and sustainer mm-hmm. with multiple names. Yeah. If you read Rahman, Rahim, Radha, Rami, Kafar, Kareem, Allah, Rab, Ilah, these are the various names we find for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God Almighty, Rahman, Akbar, Ishwar, whatever you need right now. Demand from the mankind that as your parents or your father demands a uniqueness, so does the God Almighty demands a uniqueness. We cannot declare anyone. We can respectfully say that you are my like my father, but one cannot say that you are my father. Likewise, yeah. regarding the God Almighty also, yeah. the conditions has to be applied that God is one, unique, without a partner, and He alone worthy of worship. All the messengers coming down from Him are the one who should be obeyed. But as far as the worship is concerned, that has to be dedicated to God Almighty. Yeah. Moses did the same, Jesus did the same, Abraham did the same, Muhammad Salaam did the same. So do every messenger take the same. And one of the worst thing, which if you read the book of Exodus, says that if you worship anything besides me from the waters or the skies or the land, this is the only sin I will not forgive. Mm-hmm. And the same thing Allah says in the Quran, in the Shirk al indeed Allah will not forgive associating partners to him. Except that he may forgive any other sin. Uh-huh. Allah says in the Quran, Allah na'buda illa Allah, wa la nushrika bihi shayam. Allah says, wa qala innani min al-muslimin. God is only one. Submit your will to the will of God only. <laughs> and, wa may yuti Allah wa rasul fakhat faas. If you obey Allah and the messenger, you will have the real peace in the society, real security in the society. Abrahamic accord is nothing but all the, mashallah, messengers 
have invited towards Qulu la ilaha illallah to say mm-hmm. that there is no God but only one Allah and accept it and get success in both of us, get peace in both of us, get prosperity in both of us. Likewise, the religious scriptures proclaim the same and the messengers have declared the same. 